welcome back fans and friends for this upcoming video I did what I said I wouldn't do and I got the muscle version of the GNX so this is also Maisto I brought it up last time that I wouldn't do it but I would end up doing it and this is what I was talking about the misshapen car however I do hope because I see an outline for the hood as you can see there that it might open action in fact it does kind of look better if we just take a look at it through here you can see it has the same fire tone so obviously I said this is Maisto uh, I did the Buick uh, the Regal uh, this one last time and I thought it was reasonably well done the Grand National and so this is the high performance Grand National version of that car uh, the GNX and now we see Muscle Mania, Firestone Tires, Dodge for GM and that's because these are all the cars in that series and so here we have it's the muscle machine series M2 like I said ground pounders is very much like this and we can see it's from last year there's a Maestro logo Fontana California and there's all these social media stuff it does look okay in terms of front to back but then you do the overall shape of the car and it just looks kind of weird like I said, this is the almost normal version of the car. And then that's the abnormal version of the car. The, the packaging doesn't look too bad. It is, however, I think a little bit more expensive. This cost me more than that. So in case you're wondering, you want to get the GNX instead of this, it's up to you. So we're just going to open it because that's what we do here. Packaging is... Uh, it's actually, I've never actually encountered it before like this. It is in fact an identical clamshell where you just split it in half uh, and then take it out. And as you can see there, there's an, a bunch of, uh, if you're all used to the green lights I normally do, I have never encountered uh, four-piece plastic. So that's everything that it comes with. If that's important to you, it's not important to me. So... Basically, I'm going to go over this as quickly as possible. The one great thing about this one, though, it says GNX there. So if uh, you really do like it, it says Buick on the bottom and GN with red and silver X. Lights are all done reasonably well. Front spoiler, two-piece with a gap in the middle. We have the uh, high-performance, I want to say muffler, uh, and the drag racing style tires. There's a transfer case for the rear-wheel drive. There's the muscle machines. You exactly get everything on the package, exactly like that one. It'll tell us it's the Buick GNX. In that case, the Grand National, so with no X, 1987. You have Maisto. You have there what I hope is a limited edition number, but it could also just be the date or production. And then you have two screws there if you ever need to take it apart. Very similar to the Jada. Uh, those fingerprints are all mine, so you can just wipe them off. Everything else appears to be nice and well painted but I am really hoping that the hood here pops open and fans and friends for other disappointment I just dismantled the car there is no opening hood and no engine just to see as you can see there there is absolutely nothing in there just the gap so in terms of potential that they could have done that, they did not do that. The Mustang SVT was the standard for this, but I guess uh, they set the bar a little bit higher, which is unfortunate because that Grand National, I would have liked to see the engine. Uh, and this Gen X with the clear cutout we have there, there is in fact, if I remove here, you see those four pins on the corners? Those are... Uh, once I pop them out, they will not be able to be put back in because they will be broken. So it is simply a matter of uh, putting the screws back in and living with my decision to buy this. However, you now know that uh, unless you really do like the GNX and you like this style of uh, automobile mutilation, uh, this is probably not worth the money. Like I said, that uh, the regular GN in the background cost two bucks less than this one if you're in the states probably less but here in canada it costs more so i also don't have high hopes for uh this car driving very well because of how low the uh exhaust is however 
it rolls extremely well. So don't judge the book by its cover. One of the main issues, however, is this is not an M2. So while it will sit on the display, it will also roll off of the display. So just keep that in mind. Uh, I was hoping to get a better GNX. Obviously not, not than that Regal in the background, Gen. But I got what I got. And now you know, if you want to buy it, go ahead and buy it. Like I said, it does have some okay features. Uh, now I know that it will say GN or at least Buick there and above it GN. It does, the front does look better, I guess, because it's wider. They have more real estate to work with. But the dis main disappointment, like I said, is the hood. It is, has a cutout. It was obviously stamped in there, but it does not open. So two cars from Maisto. One I thought done excellent. <coughs> Sorry. And one done average. And then they made it worse by doing the uh, condensing it wider and flatter. So there we have it. A Buick GNX 1987 year model. Highest performance version of this car from Maisto Muscle Machines. Not to be confused with Detroit Muscle. Muscle Machines Series 1. It will probably be, be seeing up upcoming soon what they'll be doing series two but I probably won't, unless I really want the car like I said there's a few of their Mustangs Dodge Chargers I wanted the odd one out sorely disappointed but here we are so this is Thomas from Toronto thanks for watching and till the next one